Thank you, Hector, so much for giving me this opportunity. I am really nervous. Um, I don't think I've ever really told anyone too much about um, my journey. Um, Melissa Maglione, my best friend and coach who signed me up, she knows my entire journey. Um, but besides that, I really haven't told anybody my journey except for my husband. So, um, it's, I'm a little nervous about it. Um, but I really, I'm open to the opportunity because I really think that if I change just one life or make some one person see that they can make a difference, that they can change their life, that, um, then that's, then that's all I need. Um, so my journey started about... <sighs> 11 and a half years ago, 12 years ago, my son's 11. When, before I got pregnant, I was 120, 125 pounds. I got pregnant and by the time I had him, I was 170 or 175 pounds. Um, before going back to work, Melissa took me shopping. She said, okay, we're going to get you psyched. We're going to get you ready to go back and not feel uncomfortable. So um, I went shopping, clothes shopping for her and it with her and everything. When I got back to work, I expected a lot of people to tell me, um, Oh, how's the baby? Oh, you look great. Oh, yeah, everything. The very first person I saw did not say hello, did not say, how's the baby? The first thing she said to me was, wow, girl, you got fat. That's what I was told. And when you're already self-conscious about your weight, that's the last thing you need to hear. So that made me go spiral into a depression that I can't even imagine at this point in my life. But I got there. And taking a step back now, I can't even imagine anybody being that mean to say something like that to someone who just had a baby, a C-section, six weeks earlier. But she said that. Um, my son, moving forward, um, my son was maybe a year, year and a half old, and I started having problems in my marriage. Um, we tried for two years to save it. Um, we fought, I fought very hard for my marriage, but in the end we separated. Um, and that put me further into a deeper depression. Um, I hated myself. I hated how I looked. I looked in the mirror. All I saw was ugliness. Um, I hated every little thing I put on. I, I literally had to roll myself out of bed to even get up in the morning. Um, I did whatever energy I had was to get to work make money, and take care of my son. Uh, so that was a really bad place in my life. Um, but I slowly got through it through, with friends. Uh, they did whatever they could to try to help me out. Um, at one point, I even said, okay, I got to get myself out of this. So um, I went to therapy, and I don't think I picked the right therapist because that didn't work. Um, or maybe it was also my mind. You have to be open to things. So... Um, I said, okay, well, let me do something about me. I tried all sorts of diet exercises. I, I went to the gym. Uh, I tried Weight Watchers. I tried Atkins. I tried Smart Beach or South Beach or whatever it is. I tried almost everything. I failed every single time. Um, now, I would have to say about maybe four, three, four years ago, I said, okay, I'm going to go to the doctor. Maybe he can give me a pill or maybe he can do a surgery or something to help me lose weight. So when I was there, instead of him giving me advice, um, he did tell me I was obese. I was expecting that. Um, but he also told me there was a problem with my heart. Uh, so he sent me to a cardiologist and the cardiologist did all sorts of tests. Turns out that three out of the four heart valves that I have in my body, we all have in our body, don't function properly. Um, so two are moderate and one is severe. And so basically what happens is with my body, the blood flows into my heart only to get sucked back out. And on the other end, my 
heart pumps it out, but doesn't go back and then it gets pushed back in. So my blood circulation is off. It just goes wishy-washy back and forth. And, um, while he didn't think the severe one was worth operating on, um, he wanted me to, he wants to monitor it, you know, to monitor it. So that's what I'm doing. Um, he did a stress test. He said that the, um, too high of stress does affect, I have spikes, so does affect my heart. And that's why I was getting pains in my heart. And I would get pains in my heart, like sharp stabbing pains a little bit. Um, whenever I was stressed mentally, which I was all the time cause I was depressed. Um, and also if I tried to work out now, a lot of things, um, Hector has talked to a lot of us about it. There's a lot of mental that goes on with you and you have to mentally be in a certain place too. So thinking back was part of that pain I would get, I was getting part mental because I was stressed out about it possibly, but I would get pains in my heart. I don't want to get too far off topic. Um, and so he says, I can't do heavy cardio and I can't, um, he doesn't want me to get stressed. Now he said he wanted me to lose weight. I was 170 pounds. He wanted me to lose weight. I needed to be 125. He told me or something like that. Um, he said it was gonna be very hard for me to lose weight because of the fact that my blood circulation doesn't work right. So, so it's going to fight against me. Um, so that's going to be hard. Plus I can't do heavy cardio. So, um, that also plays a factor in his thing. Now I was not in a good space. I was very depressed. So to me, I only heard, I didn't hear it's going to be very hard. I heard it's impossible. So it, to me, it was impossible. Excuse me. I'm shaking. So I'm a little nervous. Um, so to me, it was impossible. And I had it in my head that it was, I was never going to lose weight, never going to happen for me. Um, I can try everything, but I'm just, this is how I am. I'm just stuck this way. Um, but somewhere along the line, I tried, I, I tried to went to the neuro, the nutritionist. She gave me some guidelines. I really didn't do much of it, to be honest with you. I went to the gym, but not regularly. Um, I kind of gave up on myself in that way. Uh, I had a little miracle happen shortly after that. Um, I had, in my life, I had somehow come across um, a rescue. This woman became my best friend, but it's a cat rescue. And she asked me to, I had a cat, stray cat in my backyard and the cat was injured, crawled up into a car and burned and he was burned in the ear, broke his leg. She asked me to foster him. And that started me on a journey, um, that I needed. This was the start of my whole life changing. Um, to me, as much as I was depressed with myself, this was something that I can concentrate on. This was something that was rewarding to me. This was something that was making me feel good. So I did rescue. Um, I am very active in the cat rescue. I foster, I have them in the background. I'm in the room right now and they're screaming at me. Um, but I've been doing that for a few years now and it is something that is not, it's, it's a necessity for me. Uh, so rewarding and my whole family gets involved in it. Um, but that was the start of my change. I started feeling better about myself and I said, okay, I'm going to try dieting again. I tried everything again. The problem when you try things is if you don't try, do everything, you don't do the nutrition. You don't work out. If you're not, if your mind's not there, well, then you're not going to succeed. So again, I failed everything. Melissa uh, Maglione, part of Team Faith, um, she being my best friend, every time I went on Facebook, the poor girl was working out like crazy. Every time I went on Facebook, God love her, but I was always like, do I need to see her working out? Every time I talked to her, uh, Christina, you should try Beachbody. Christina, you should do this. What do you have to lose? What do you have to lose? And I turned her down every time. I always had an excuse, an excuse. I always had an excuse. Um... So, um, last 
no, I don't, I don't know exactly. I think it's a year ago. My uh, husband and I, after six or seven years apart, we have found our way back together. Um, we are stronger now than ever before. Our love is stronger now than ever before. It's a relationship that I think we both grew with the time apart, um, but it's a relationship that is just unmeasurable. I, I just can't, it's a whole, it seems like a whole different life time ago. It seems a, a crazy, my life before seems totally different than now. Um, even my relationship with him before, it seems like two different people than we are right now. Um, so it, it was a, a huge miracle for me, but I think that I was mentally getting into the place I needed to be or starting on my journey upwards where I needed to be. So I was allowed, you know, I was able to let somebody back in. Um, and it was a surprise to me. Uh, Melissa was not surprised when I told her, but it was a surprise to me. Um, never thought we'd get back together. And we had the love of my life and I have him back. So in September, this past September, we went to our niece's wedding in Nantucket, and I used that picture um, as my before picture. And some people don't like that I use it. They say, oh, Christina, I never really saw you that way. Why do you use it? Why do you use it? It makes you look fat. Well, you know what? I use that picture because that was the picture that woke me up. That was the picture that made me see, this is how I see myself. When I look in the mirror, that's what I saw. Regardless of what everybody else really saw, that picture is what I used to see. So seeing that picture made me wake up in September. And on a whim one day, when I couldn't think of anything else to try, I just text Melissa, what do you think if I try Beachbody? Well, one thing you have to know about Melissa is if she... You give her something, she's going to run with it. So she was like, okay, we're going to do this. And I'm telling you right now, I'm about to start 21 Day Fix Extreme. You're going to start it with me. Now, I want you to give me 21 days, just 21 days, full out. The whole beach body, you got to work out, you got to do the nutrition, you got to do the shakes, you got to be part of Team Faith. 21 days. If you give me 21 days, and you don't see results, I will allow you to give up on yourself. Now, if you hear what I just said, she will allow me to give up on myself. Didn't hear it at the time, but thinking back, I remember her saying that. And I said, okay, I'll do it. 21 days, I can give you 21 days. What am I going to see in 21 days? Probably nothing, but I can give you 21 days. Well, I'm at 155 days and I'm still here. Before I started 21 Day Fix Extreme, I talked to my family. Every single one of them wanted me to call my cardiologist. I said no, because I knew that if I told him the programs I was going to be doing, if he looked into the programs I was going to be doing, he's going to tell me no. So I didn't listen to him, because if I listened to him right now, he probably would have told me no, because he does not want me to do stressful workouts. He does not want me to have stress in my heart. He always told me, you feel something. If you feel pain, you have to stop. I didn't want to listen to him. So I said, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm going to call my, my doctor. And I never did. I did 21 fix ex day fix extreme twice. I've done max 30 once and then halfway through the second one. I've played around with 22 minute hardcore. I've done yoga. I've done all sorts of different programs. Right now I'm on Shailene, um, Shailene uh, Extreme and, um, and doing heavy weights. And in 155 days, I have not had one pain, not one single pain in my heart. Um, I've lost, as of this morning, I weighed myself just for this program. Um, I've lost 33 pounds. I've lost 27 inches. But what I gained, it's my pride. I 
I never thought I'd get here. Sorry, guys. I never thought I'd get here. I never imagined it. And I've never imagined that I would be the healthiest person, not only physically, but mentally. I am the happiest I have ever been in my entire life. And that's because... <laughs> Sorry, guys, this is hard. Um... That's because of Peach Body. That's because of Team Faith. I would have quit long ago if it wasn't for Team Faith. Every frustration I would have had, I would have quit. Every setback I would have had, I would have quit. I had a plateau for two and a half months. I would have quit. If it wasn't for Hector and Mike and Melissa and all of you keeping me going, I would have quit. And that's why I became a coach. It has nothing to do with the money for me. I became a coach because I want to change my life the way you guys changed mine. I want to change lives. And that's why I became a coach. So thank you everyone for allowing me to say my story. And I have to collect myself now because... Um, I know I'm close to my time as being up, and uh, I never thought I'd get through 15 minutes like Hector wanted to, but I guess I did. Um, so uh, the biggest tip I have for all of you is that you have to believe you have a story. I never believed I really had the story until I had to think about this program and, and what my story was, and then how much of it I was willing to reveal. Um, so... But your story is beautiful, and it's where, where you've been is, where you, is, is important to where you are now. And you really need to embrace every little part of this journey, every little setback, every little feeling you feel. You, you really need to allow yourself to have them because your lows are going to make your highs that much more sweeter. They're going to make you really believe in yourself and really have confidence in yourself and really be proud of where you're going. I have my bikini set for this summer. I haven't worn a bikini since God 2000. I have not worn a bikini and I promised myself I'm going to wear a bikini. I've already put it on and I'm going to wear it and you watch and see the picture I post of me in my bikini. So believe in yourself, allow yourself to have this journey share it with others. Um, I recently have um, a friend that I put um, on Beachbody and I hope she has a rewarding experience like me. Um, I try my best to be the best coach I can. Um, but um, to me, being a coach is all about changing lives. So if we can change as many lives and share our story and change as many lives as possible, then that's a blessing. Um, so I have to introduce Vanessa. She has a beautiful story. So, um, thank you guys, everybody. Bye.